Hello again. We are back with another one. Doing another room tour, this time Chicago style. We are here for a few nights. We're gonna take you around, show you some hot spots, but first we're gonna show you our hotel accommodations. So this hotel is pretty updated and pretty nice. This is the restroom. Has a full size mirror along the bathroom which I do like a lot. Some amenities here. I love this brand, we've seen them a few times. And the same in the shower. This is a New York company, so represent New York in Chicago. And the bathroom door does double as your closet door, so you just slide this right on over to close that bathroom and then that opens up into the closet. So over here in the closet, you do have a couple of hangers, an ironing board, a safe, some complimentary slippers, and there was also a robe in there as well. And then a nice storage spot up there if you'd like to store your bag. Oh, hey, Michael. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Chicago. This is Le Meridian Essex. Uh, they just did a $75 million renovation. Uh, Marriott took it over a, maybe a year ago or two. Um, it was before that the famous Essex Hotel. So it's right across the street from Grant Park. Uh, very welcome. This is to the Buckingham Fountain, not the palace, but the fountain. Uh, which uh, the fountain for Mary with children, which I was really excited to see yesterday. Yeah, we've been walking around, we've been seeing all the sites, we've been checking out the local hot spots, and we went to the Bean a little earlier and just sort of walking around. It's a beautiful spring day, the weather has been perfect. And Michael, what shirt are you wearing over there? So I'm wearing a Mets shirt. We're heading to Wrigley Field later on to see the Mets face the Chicago Cubs. So far, the Cubs unfortunately have taken, or fortunately, whoever you're cheering for, have taken two out of the three games. So I'm hoping to bring the good luck for the Mets tonight. So good luck to the good guys from New York. And of course, this episode is sponsored by the Handy Danny Bud Light. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Definitely not sponsored. You don't get paid by them, but I do enjoy my Bud Light. <laughs> All right, so let's let's show the room tour over here. Let's come um, see what we have bedside. So you have a lot of plug ports there. Whoa, that clock looks like crazy on here. So that does say it is 323. You want to do the phone test and Let's do take a, a look. You can just touch. 325. So once again, just like our last video, it's a two minute difference. Two minute difference. So not sure if that's on purpose or not. Uh, then next to the bed, we do have a master light switch. So this does control the entryway. The reading lights, which are right here, which I think are really cool if you need to get a little light right before bed, both on both sides of the bed. And what'd you think of the bed quality last night, Michael? I thought it was fairly comfortable. I slept pretty well. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, you can hear a lot of the outside noises in the hallway, and Michael did say he could hear some trucks going by last night, but nothing, um, not too many complaints. Should we do a dust test? All right, Jennifer, let's try a dust test. Here we go. That's Jonical's journey over there on the TV, per usual. It picked up a little bit of dust. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna give that a maybe a C. It picked up quite a few, quite a bit of dust actually. All right, so a little bit of dust on that artwork. We do have a one luggage rack and um, a nice big screen TV. 55 inch TV, fridge underneath. Uh, with the see through, so you can see we got the handy dandy bug lights up here. We got a bottle of water there. And then a couple of drawers and um, coffee, tea, a couple of creamers, your standard ice bucket, which is great. I have not, um, I've not tried to use this yet. There is a QR code, so I don't know how serious that's going to be. We will maybe check it out later, but we did have an excellent breakfast this morning, just a couple of blocks down at a restaurant called Yoke, and we had a great, Michael had pancakes, I had a great breakfast, and a delicious coffee. We'll put some pictures. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll post some pictures. We may even put a little bit of footage from the Yoke restaurant. Definitely recommend it. We found that through our um, Advantage. Nice dining. So I'm um, getting miles for eating. Can't complain about that. Yeah, we always love to earn if we can. Always be earning. Right, Brother John? You know what's up. <laughs> All right, let's do the big reveal. What are we working with for a so, view? Okay, so you a cheers or cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look here. Oh, oh 
it's a little bit of a jeers. It's not horrible, it's not horrible, but. See people working out next door. We are up on the ninth floor, but they did give us a couple of trees that we can look at there. And then if you look all the way down, I don't know if you can see, the ground is down there. Then, I think to the left, you can see a little bit of uh, Grand Park. Just, um, you know, your typical cityscape, nothing, nothing too good, nothing too bad. Not as horrible as that New York view that we once had of a deteriorating building. So yeah, but then I needed a face wash. Let's check out this ear. How are we, how are we looking? So it says it's 68 degrees. Um, we have it set for 65. It does not seem to be cooling lower than the 68, so it might be that they haven't switched to the air conditioning system yet. Might still be on that heating function. And so you feel a little bit of the cold air coming out. How's the dust test up there looking? Well, let's see. This is uh, yeah, I picked up a bit of dust. A little but that's, bit of uh, dust. That's pretty tough. I don't. I, don't, I think that you, you'll get that anywhere. And as you guys know, we love our fresh air. If we are at a hotel and windows open, we want to get that fresh air in, especially when it is cool out. Get a little bit of that coolness into this room. What about um your bedside? What do we have over here? Anything? Same plugs, same amenities. Same concept, yep. Pedialyte, if you know, you know. Pedialyte, li liquid IV, whatever, whichever one you choose, um, does its job. So this hotel does come with a... So it's a $15 amenity fee. However, you get $15 to use at the Great Grand Park Bistro, which is uh, underneath uh, the hotel here on the lower level. Um, it looks like it's a hopping place. Um, they do have happy hours, but you cannot use your $15 discount if there's a happy hour or the bottomless brunch. You can't apply it to a special that's already ongoing through the restaurant. So you have to go for a normal time and you know get $15 off, maybe around the drinks or something like that. So we will go down there in a little bit. If we are paying $15 and we do have a $15 credit, you better believe we will use it. So we're gonna check it out. They do have some outside seating down there. It is a small lobby area with a small sitting um, space with some nice couches and it was a great check-in. We got here super early. We had a 9.30. Uh, had an early flight. At four, uh, and we were, the front desk agent was gracious enough to give us an early check-in. Um, no check-in, early check-in fee, none of that stuff. They'll, you'll go to some hotels and they'll charge you $50, for instance, in Vegas. Uh, when there's rooms available, the check-in agent was very friendly, very polite. Said she had a room ready, got us right, in, right into this room. So, you know, view of a, of a some of these people working out next door, I'll take that for a 9.30 early arrival instead of having to wait five or six hours uh, after a long flight. To, not, uh, al not always guaranteed early check-in, but always appreciated if it, if it can happen. We will always, always love that. And we are here for three nights. Mm -hmm. We're going night to two of three. night two of three. We did a chicken parm throwdown last night. We are... You gotta stay tuned for that one. That was probably... Just stay tuned. You gotta stay tuned for that. Delicious. Video. Absolutely delicious. If you're not already following us on John Nicole's journey on Instagram, check that out. We have been posting some stuff to our story, so we will keep that going while we're here, and then we'll be posting more updates after. Little little hint, we have one cheers and one jeers so far for food in this trip. So um, obviously the chicken parm, we're, we're saying it's a cheers, we're, we're raving about it. But stay tuned, because we also have a jeers that we're gonna post about as well. So, um, and then we're gonna, do a video of Wrigley Field, so stay tuned for that as well. So we got some content coming your way. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Five minutes from the hotel, walking distance is a restaurant called Yolk. The lovely Jen got a specialty coffee here, and she says it's one of the best coffees she's ever had. What is it? It's so delicious. So this is their chocolate peanut butter cup latte, espresso mixed with dark chocolate, creamy peanut butter, and milk, topped with whipped cream and Reese's Pieces. I, of course, got it iced, and you can't see, but there are Reese's Pieces in there, and they are delicious. I would definitely recommend this for any peanut butter and chocolate lover to get your day started in Chicago. I went with the traditional pancakes, maple syrup and butter, and the lovely Jen went with corned beef hash, and you can get your eggs any style. So I got scrambled with cheddar cheese, and I didn't even know, but it came with a side of pancakes as well. And Michael got a side of toast. How are you? those pancakes, Michael? They're very good. They're nice and fluffy. I don't get, I get pancakes maybe once a year. It's probably the, one of the few breakfast meals I eat. They're very good, and the syrup is good too. And I would like to say this might be the best corned beef hash I've ever had. I'm really happy with my meal. 
like Michael gets pancakes once a year. I usually only get breakfast food once a year and I am so happy with my decision. And here's a view of that hotel lobby bar where we had the $15 credits per night and you might recognize this fountain from Married with Children. We really enjoyed our stay in Chicago and we will definitely be back. This is such a fun city, especially during the warmer months. We love Wrigley Field. We had great pizza. We had great chicken parm during our stay. Be sure to click and subscribe for more content. Thanks for joining the journey.